The creator economy is booming and every brand wants to know how do I scale creator content? And in this video, I sat down with Marcus and Leo who are solving just that problem. They built a platform in Lovable in just two weeks that helps brands scale the creator or UGC content. And on their first campaign, they already reached 1.5 million views. And in this video, we sat down to discuss how they built their platform with Lovable and how they're positioning themselves to win in this market. Let's get started with the video. I'm here with Leonardo and also his team, we have Marcus in the background and they have built a product or a service that helps companies advertise through influence marketing at scale or UGC marketing. Tell me more about what you guys have built. We have built a platform where brands can activate creators at scale. A company can join our platform and post a campaign. Creators that are generally interested in what the company does and what the campaign is about can join that campaign and basically have 50 to 100 creators. And how much money are you guys making? We are making six to seven K a month where our latest campaign pulled in five K a month. And we're trying to uh, different uh, methods of, of uh, getting paid for uh, our work, basically. Tell me about your backstory. How did you get into all of this? So basically I uh, took Studenten, as we call it here in Sweden, and started working as a door-to-door -door salesman. And uh, that's basically where I learned uh, how to get notes and ask people if they actually need something. And then we created a social media marketing company, me and Kader, where we just filmed for, for brands here in Malmö and did normal UGC content. And then I did some studying with uh, where I met Theo, our other co-founder. And uh, basically we pivoted from just a normal social media marketing company working with uh, UGC to having a platform where brands can activate a lot of creators at scale. How did you come up with the idea of creating something like this? The idea, we ran a social media marketing agency and we basically had to do a lot of uh, manual work to create a video for a brand. It was basically going out to the place, filming, editing. There was a lot of work for a video that maybe sometimes didn't perform well organically. But for TikTok, it needs to be more authentic. So that's why we created something where anyone can join and anyone can create a video and actually give a recommendation if they like the product or the service that the campaign is about. So that's where the idea was born. And none of you guys have the programming background, right? No, all of us are from uh, sales or just uh, creating content on TikTok. So none of us have some uh, programming background. And you also, you have some sort of way of like scraping the information of the social media platforms? Yeah. So basically when, uh, when uh, the creators uh, upload the link from the TikTok video that they have uh, created for the, for the brand, it goes into our system and we get the details, how many likes, how many views, how many comments, how many shares. And we basically can see what each creator, how well the video has performed and see the campaign totals. I define the companies and the creators. For the creators, it's a very simple process. Anyone can join. If they have uh, 100 followers or 100,000 followers, it's basically we market on TikTok where the creators are. And for brands, we right now we are doing most cold email and also trying to, to create content on TikTok where we educate brands on what we do and show them how easy it is to actually get a campaign up and running on our platform. But for, for creators, it's a pretty, pretty easy process for them to join. They don't need to have a lot of followers. They don't need to have a track record of, the, of having so many viral videos because they can just join and we give them the instructions on how to create a video and it, it does good. The challenges in the beginning were how does the, the journey work when a creator creates accounts? What do they see? So basically we started asking creators before we built anything, how would you want this to look? And also we spoke to brands, how would they want to create a campaign where creators can join? So we're after every campaign we have, we ask, how would you want this to be better? And then create according to that. Did you come across any challenges when, when kind of building with Lovable? Did you, like, did you get stuck in any step? In the beginning, we got stuck a lot because we had no experience with uh, with coding or experience with building a platform. But then as you use Lovable, you can also 
ask in the chat mode on Lovable to plan out something. So basically in the beginning, we wasted a lot of credits trying to build, uh, like do small changes, but then we realized we could just use chat mode. So that's basically how, how that, that went. And now we, we use Lovable on the daily to do changes, to do backend changes. Basically what we did in the beginning, we tried to, if something went wrong, we basically tried to, yeah, we just kept on prompting. So basically we realized we could use chat mode to plan out, uh, plan out stuff. What is the future vision? Cause I feel like you guys are very, very early on right now. The future is to educate brands that the creator activation and content marketing or creator marketing doesn't need to be hard that they can basically post a campaign with what they need and what product or service they want to, to show to the world. And uh, a lot of creators can join that campaign and start creating TikToks from wherever they are. We just want it to be as easy as possible to do creator marketing and also as authentic as possible. Because when a creator is on our platform and they see a campaign, if they are generally interested, they can join the campaign. But if they don't like it, they can just join another campaign that they like. So that choice creates authenticity. Do you have any learnings, any lessons which you would give to people building and creating stuff? With Lovable, you can prototype fast. So if you have an idea, you can go ask someone in your niche that you're trying to build that idea for and then ask them, how do you want this? And uh, basically they will give you the blueprint to actually create something that is useful. So for lovable users that are trying to uh, monetize their idea, you can walk up to someone and said, would you pay to use this? And then if they say yes, you just type in lovable and get paid to, to do that basically. So that's uh, some, something I could recommend to, to everyone building with Lovable is just to prototype fast and uh, just try something, even if it's not perfect. Do you think more companies should start doing that? Do you have any tips and advice on that? I think every company should use TikTok and post content about what they're doing. And I think also brands should educate on TikTok and on other platforms and actually talk to, to customers and to, to other people and collaborate and just create as much content as possible. So I think uh, just be yourself on, on TikTok and on other platforms and you will see that people actually connect with you uh, in a much different way if it's just an uh, ad, basically. Okay, so now I'm here with Marcus. You were also uh, building the, the agency in the beginning uh, that was creating UGC content. And then you also, you, you kind of came up with the idea as well of, uh, you know, doing this at scale. Yeah, so basically we started off by doing a uh, UGC agency uh, kind of platform because I work a lot with the social media. I, start, I started to notice a lot of companies are creating several accounts for the same company. And I had the realization that this is because they want to uh, create content that is shown across multiple spaces online, especially with uh, TikTok being such a big platform. Uh, it categorizes into niches when you uh, upload something and you won't be shown to people who are not in your particular niche. And that's where the idea came in where why don't we just create a place not where uh, companies post the content to their own uh, company media. Do you have competitors? So we, we choose to say that we don't actually have any competitors in the space. We have some similar uh, companies that work with a similar kind of platform. But what we're doing is, from what I've seen, a whole new paradigm shift of uh, doing it on a massive scale, focusing on this, uh, trying to do it broadly so we reach a broader audience. And we, we're basically creating trends on TikTok by letting hundreds of people post the same amount of, uh, or the same content about the same thing. And then as a marketer behind the scenes, I just go to Avenir, create a campaign. I don't have to do any work. I don't have to do any management. Everything is completely automated. Everyone wins on it. Uh, it I mean, the companies get what they need. Uh, the marketers get to do easy job for, for good money, obviously. And, uh, and we get the clients. So it's a win-win situation for everybody. How long did it take to create it, to build it with Lalo? So we started maybe in in February of this year by building the first version of Avenir and that version is no longer the one that we're using now. So really the platform we're using now, maybe it took two weeks of 
of work our website is uh, is something to be truly proud of and we are very happy to have been using lovable and being one of the first people to have found lovable and seeing the growth from start until now that's also the the wonderful thing about lovable once you know it you have the flexibility to change anything you want traditional means of creating a website if you maybe pay somebody to to create it and then you you have it done and then you have to pay them each time you want an iteration. With Lovable, we don't have that issue anymore because we can just move quickly, move rapidly, adapt, and uh, that's uh, a really great tool for us. Like Leo said, we use it daily. What are some lessons that you have learned? I think everything has been a process leading up to the ideas and everything has built this kind of library of knowledge that we are using today. However, I, I think I anticipated in the beginning it being a lot easier to manage and handle a large number of people or participants but we are continuously working on all systems to make this easier not only for us but for the creators and you also dropped out of college right no i actually was um, one of the persons i used to be a creator and uh, we have friends in common but they hit me up randomly one day telling me to come to their uh, office which they had beforehand with, with the agency where they were filming stuff uh, let me know about their idea and sh he showed me the lovable tool on the first day and I thought it was incredible this uh, amazing utility to be able to create whatever you want just from your thoughts uh, it seemed like a completely new dimension had been opened and the possibilities were endless really I was on it from the first day yeah no, the, that's really awesome how many companies are you guys working with right now uh, we currently have two campaigns that are live on our platform and there are coming up the five to six campaigns next week where creators can join and uh, create content for the campaigns. And how many creators do you currently have? We currently have 500 plus creators. It differs day to day how many creators join, but on a weekly basis, maybe joins 20 to 30 creators a week. Did you design the app inside of Figma or any software before you, or did you let Lovable just do the design of the application? We had a design in mind. We basically created our uh, logo and our colors before uh, creating a website. So we just went from the logo and uh, let the uh, Lovable design it. And the scraper, the TikTok scraper, how did you build that? Is that built within Lovable or is it an API that you're calling? This is an API we're calling. So uh, it does the job and posts a TikTok link. It basically goes through the scraper and we get the data from each individual video and also as a whole campaign. It's called the uh, Appify. So basically we're using that to scrape TikTok data. I think the viewers uh, learned a lot, especially about TikTok and how the, the kind of marketing strategies of these different companies are shifting um, and how you can use your skill sets within a certain niche and build a scalable service with it um, using Lovable. Follow Leo on LinkedIn and Marcus on LinkedIn. It was awesome having you guys.